The current state of Indiana healthcare is poor. We have issues of access in many parts of our state, people getting the care they need when they need it. Uh, we have major issues of affordability. Uh, many Hoosiers are going bankrupt because their health care bills that they've had to incur can't be paid through the salaries or the jobs that they currently have. We have a number of individuals in our state who can't get the prescription drugs that they need. The cost of those drugs has gone up almost 50 percent in the last five years. I am a physician. I've had 30 years of experience in leadership in healthcare. I run companies. And I just know how to bring people together and why to do it and what the priorities are. And I think that gives me a unique ability, especially at this time, uh, to change our course in Indiana and move us far more aggressively to where we need to be. And that's a state that is prepared to take care of its citizens in a way that never again causes us to be deficient. We've got to increase the number of physicians and nurses available to take care of Hoosiers. We have one of the largest medical schools in the nation, yet far too many of the physicians who graduate from our medical schools don't stay in Indiana. We've got to find the right kind of incentives to get them to stay because we need them right here uh, to take care of, of Hoosiers. Our rural areas uh, do need more healthcare services. They need more physicians, they need more nurses. We've got to increase the availability of telehealth services. What COVID-19 has shown us is that the disparities between different communities are very real. The lethality of the virus in African Americans is just unbelievably sad. Uh, we know that we can do a better job both in making sure that healthcare services are available to urban communities, to communities with special needs, to those of us who have higher risk. And in my administration, that's what we will do. We've got to strengthen our public health infrastructure in Indiana to make that happen. Indiana is at the bottom of the list in terms of states that invest in public health. Uh, we know that by increasing our investment in the public health infrastructure, we're going to have the ability to take much better care of all citizens, especially those who are in need. I put people first, not politics. I'm running because Hoosiers deserve better than good enough. So join me to fight for Indiana's future.